This video is sponsored by OWC. If you're not using shortcuts, you're using your phone all wrong. Now, trust me, I was a shortcuts skeptic, but with iOS 14 and the ability to have your shortcuts widget plastered right there on your home screen, it makes everything that much more useful. And you don't need to use Siri if you don't want to, because you can just run those shortcuts right from your home screen. So let me show you what I've been using on a regular basis. Oh, and also before we get into everything, for those of you who don't know, you can create and customize your own shortcuts using the app, but that can get really, really difficult. And if you just don't wanna go through all that time and effort to do that, there's actually an entire website dedicated to user-made shortcuts called Routine Hub, or you can just uh, search for shortcuts on the Shortcuts subreddit. I'll also leave links to all the shortcuts featured in this video so that you can quickly install them. It really just takes a couple of seconds to get each one up and running. Those will all be in the description down below. And also, if you use shortcuts, I wanna know which ones you really like. Let me know in the comments down below. Now, speaking of links, that's actually our first shortcut. It's nothing super flashy, but it does the job really well, which it shortens long URLs for a much cleaner look. The description of this video, all of these links were created with this shortcut. Since this one lives in your share sheet, all you have to do is actually just hit the share icon and then scroll on down and then click on the shorten URL option and it will just automatically shorten that URL for you and copy it to your clipboard and then you can just paste it wherever you need to paste it. Also, whatever your last link was um, copied onto your clipboard, you can actually just run the shortcut in the shortcuts app and it'll automatically shorten that one as well. Next up, I'm gonna show you a bit of a workaround to getting a true picture-in-picture -picture mode for YouTube. And this time, it'll even work with the YouTube application. Now, this shortcut does require an additional free application installed called Scripter, but once you have that installed, just run the shortcuts for the YouTube picture-in-picture -picture by tapping the share icon and then selecting more and then scrolling down to YouTube PIP, which stands for picture-in-picture. -picture. And your YouTube video will now have a floating window thanks to the help of the Scripter app. You can drag it anywhere you'd like on the screen. There's even more options to adjust the video playback speed and all that. But if you just want picture-in-picture -picture mode, all you gotta do is just swipe up and go into whatever other application that you wanna interact with, uh, whatever else you want to do while that video is playing in the background. You can resize it like normal. It works just like a normal picture-in-picture -picture video. Uh, and this should hold you off until we actually get this implemented into the iOS app for real, whenever that might be. Do you take a lot of screenshots? Do you want them to look like this where I have them on a iPhone device frame? Well, this shortcut will help you do that. All you gotta do is run the shortcut, select the photo that you want to do and let it take care of the rest. Now, depending on the size of the screenshot, it should recognize which device it came from and give you a compatible device. So if you use something like an iPhone 8, as you can see here, I have an iPhone 8 with a home button uh, device frame. But then when you have a newer iPhone with no home button, it'll just automatically give you the correct iPhone. So there's nothing else that you really need to do. You, need to, you don't need to take it into Photoshop. Everything just works perfectly. Sticking with that photos theme for a second, this photo toolkit is literally the best photos shortcut out there. You can do tons of things like, in just a few quick taps, you can resize images, you can convert images for, to a JPEG, a PNG, whatever it is that you want. Uh, you can rotate, you can combine images into a collage, which could be very useful for social media. You can even make GIFs with just a few taps. If you edit photos using other complicated apps and you just want to do something quick and easy like any of these options listed, I would do this. It's way faster and easier, in my opinion, to get those simple edits done. Now, speaking of simple and fast, the Make PDF shortcut, it does what the title tells you. It actually makes you a PDF just by tapping the share icon on any document. So let's say here we're inside of the notes app and we wanna make this note into a PDF. I just tap on the share icon and then in the share sheet, I just tap make PDF and that's it. Then you just tap share again to save or send it to whoever you wanna send it to. Oh, also with the notes app, there's another shortcut that you can use to have quick voice dictation for your notes. You can just run this shortcut 
and then record your thoughts and you'll immediately find those thoughts all ready to go in your note notes app. It's way, way faster to get those quick thoughts or notes out on into your phone without having to worry about typing everything out. Now, the last two kind of go hand in hand. We already know that we have Shazam built into our iPhones. The problem is that music gets saved using Apple Music. And if you're a Spotify user, YouTube music, whatever it might be, you might want the Shazam song to be able to be opened up in that application. So with this music finder shortcut, it allows you to do just that. You can even download that song to your device. Yeah, I don't recommend doing this because it's technically pirating music and I don't condone that, but it's an option if that's something that you're into. Then once you get your song all queued up, you can then run this next and final shortcut, which is the set AirPlay shortcut to quickly switch between your phone and other AirPlay devices uh, that you might have around you. It definitely saves you a bunch of taps by you know swiping down and tapping on AirPlay and then finding the sort. All you do is just run the shortcut and boom, you pick whichever one you want and it'll automatically switch between those sources. So that's it. These are just some of my most recent useful shortcuts that I've been using. But again, I would love to know what shortcuts you have, which ones you're using. Let me know in the comments down below. Now, before we end today's video, I do wanna give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC just released a new drive earlier this year called the Envoy Pro FX, and it's the company's fastest, most compatible, waterproof, ultra-rugged drive to date. It's basically plug and play on all devices, Mac, Windows, Chromebook, or Surface devices, and even works with your iPad Pro. You'll get blazing fast speeds via Thunderbolt, and did I mention that it's incredibly durable? I mean, not only is it waterproof, but its aluminum housing makes it very resistant to any potential damage to the drive, but more importantly, it's incredibly portable. And really, just the perfect all-around option for audio, video, photography, whatever the case may be, the Envoy Pro FX will have you covered. Now, for more information about this product or anything else that OWC has to offer, click the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.